guys is about to fall off. Look what I got. A 16 inch propeller. Oh. And a 270 kV motor. This is gonna be good. Yeah, just kidding. I got a 7 kilowatt motor. And a 20 inch propeller. And we're gonna make a jet bike. Alright, let's mount the propeller on the motor and put the mount on the back. Alright, so we have the propeller mounted outward, so it's going to be pushing air back. Alright, here we've got our mount. Unfortunately, it's thin aluminum, so it's not very strong, but it should be able to take the 50 pounds of thrust that this thing should put out. It's completed, and now let's mount it on the bike. How the fuck do I mount it on the bike? That's definitely on straight. You bullshitted the middle one, but okay. Here's our ESC, it's rated for 120 amps at 44 volts, and that's roughly 5.5 kilowatts. We're gonna mount it right here. All right, I've conveniently put Dean's plugs on each connector, and we're just gonna connect them all together, and we're gonna test to see if the motor will work, and if it goes the opposite direction, we can just switch two of the Dean's plugs, any two, and it will go the other direction. All right, so here's my electric go-kart. This thing actually has a burned out Kelly controller, and I'm just harvesting the battery right here, which is twin 5,000 milliamp hour, 22.2 volt batteries connected in series, which is 44.4 volts, and it's just got a forklift battery connector on the end. And we're gonna just slap this on the bike. Can't believe I'm using duct tape to get this down. So here I've got a 100 amp breaker, and that's so we don't overpower our ESC, because this shit's expensive and I don't want to break it. I'm just gonna put this on the battery here. Clip it in, and then clip it to ESC, make sure it's off. And then it will go right there, and now when I turn it on, it turns on the ESC. Alright, so here I've got the servo tester, and that's what I'm going to be using to turn on the ESC and change the speed of the motor. And we're just going to connect and servo extension lead to this little lead that goes to the ESC. And this thing is roughly 3 feet long, and we'll connect right to the servo tester which will be sitting on my handlebars. All right, so when I tested it the first time, uh, one of the bolts came off because I was stupid and it went in the ESC and this is what happens when you turn the ESC. As you can see, a little bit of smoke came out of it and this thing is completely fried. In fact, the ESC drew so much power that when I flipped the switch on, it tripped the 100 amp breaker. So it was drawing around five or six kilowatts. I have one more ESC, but it has no cooling on it. We're gonna have to add a heat sink and then we can test it out further. Yes! Alright, so you may have noticed this bike is actually electric. And that chose that because this is the only bike that has a big enough rack to mount something like this on it. Now, I also use electric motor on the bike to get up to about 20 miles an hour. And then I turn this on because just turning this on wastes a lot of energy in the batteries to get up that speed. And it speeds up very slowly. So once I get to 20 miles an hour, this thing can't go any faster. And then I have this turning on, and this pushes it even faster, and I just turn the electric motor off. All right, so here's the bike, and we're about to test it. Let's go. <gasps> Is that him? Is yeah, that him? That's a, that's a, that's a, oh my god. <laughs> god damn. Yeah, it's about to fall off. I don't know how fast I was actually going, and I didn't use that much runway, so I don't know if I got the full speed, but I was at least going 30 miles per hour. Thank you guys for watching. I love making projects like this, but these are so expensive. This one cost me around $500, but I'm lucky I got the parts for a little bit cheaper. I also burned out an ESC, so that really sucks. If you can, please support me on Patreon to see more crazy stuff like this, and I'll see you guys next time.